Hey everyone, welcome to Diamond View, where our mission is to find value in the crypto space and hopefully help you make some capital gains along the way. Today we are looking at the project Luxo and what makes it special. It's currently trading under the coin LYXE Lux. But before we get into that, if you are new to the channel, please be sure to like and subscribe. It would really help us out a ton and we really appreciate it. Before I get into what makes this project so exciting, I want to first put out a disclaimer that I am not a financial advisor and to invest only what you are willing to lose. Luxo's success depends on many factors, including the growth of the developer and the user ecosystem around the Luxo blockchain. Buying Luxo's coin is risky, it's still very early. You should do your own research and invest wisely. I want to first start off by showing the video because there was a light bulb moment for me showing some of the potential uses that can be powered by Luxo. So what is Luxo exactly? It's a multiverse blockchain network where the worlds of fashion, design, gaming, and social media can build upon and intersect. Luxo focuses on bringing the blockchain to the masses through its smart contracts and innovative concepts of decentralized applications. Developed from the ground up, it's really trying to create an entire ecosystem for the fashion industry targeting brands within a $2 trillion niche. To summarize, I really see it as an Ethereum-like project targeting the creative economy. I'm a fan of this project as it is looking to create entirely new market opportunities while also solving real-world problems with great founders and advisors behind it. Let's take a look at Luxo's leadership team first. The founders of Luxo are Fabian Vogelsteller and his wife Marjorie Hernandez. Fabian was part of the original Ethereum Foundation working on it from 2015 to 2018. He essentially helped to create one of the most complex and impactful decentralized platforms ever. He helped create the official Ethereum wallet and is the author of ERC20, which is the technical standard for all smart contracts on Ethereum and what the whole DeFi movement is built upon. He's also the author of ERC725. So clearly Fabian is one of the biggest trailblazers and top minds in all of the crypto space, which really needs to be highlighted because we like to invest in great innovators. The other founder, his wife, Marjorie, is more on the fashion side with blockchain experience from Ernst & Young. It appears she also has some great connections with some of the top fashion brands. This is really a great duo to lead this project and I can see them making a major impact in the fashion and design space. Now let's take a look at their advisory board, which is one of the best I've seen among any blockchain project. They have members from companies such as Nike, Chanel, Burberry, Deutsche Bank, Instagram. I mean, this advisory board is absolutely stacked and will be a great asset for Luxo to have for not only advice, but also to leverage their connections for potential partnerships in the future. So how does this technology work and what are some of Luxo's plans? One huge idea is that Luxo is going to build and insert an NFC chip into physical items in order to digitize, tokenize, and authenticate them. For example, they could insert this chip into a Louis Vuitton bag, giving that handbag its own identity on the blockchain. This digital identity gives the ability to uncover different data points, such as where the bag was made, by what company, the materials it's made of, the past price, ownership, etc. Along with digital-based identities, when purchasing, you can link the identity of the bag to the identity of the buyer. That buyer not only has physical ownership, but also the certified and perpetual digital ownership of the bag. The buyer can then resell to another party. Both parties know without a doubt that the bag is real. When resold, the brand can identify that the handbag changed hands. There's so many different insights that can be derived by what Luxo is trying to do, which can benefit companies, buyers, and sellers. 
a very interesting concept allowing brands and users to all interact with each other and could create new secondhand market opportunities. Crypto this year already has shown us through the NFT boom that owning the digital identity of an item is very valuable. Digital ownership can be used as a status symbol. I think that's why it makes even more sense to directly target the fashion industry and the NFT space here. Luxo's goal is to create that golden standard in which the industry can adopt. The idea is that the identities of goods will all be cross compatible and follow the same protocol no matter what the brand is. What are some potential further use cases for Luxo? Luxo is looking at solving counterfeit in the fashion lifestyle industry. Now, I'm not a fashion expert, but I know one of the biggest issues the industry faces is counterfeit goods. It's so hard to tell between the real and the fake items nowadays and top brands have been struggling with this for years with no actual viable solution. Luxo will help certify this uniqueness so that buyers can know without a doubt that the items are unique and not fake by their digital authentication. I could see most luxury brands using this like the top end handbags and shoes like Yeezys, for example. I'm thinking when it comes to inserting chips into more complex luxury goods like watches or sunglasses, maybe there could be potential problems there. So definitely something to consider. Um, but uh, another potential use case I'm thinking of is big companies like eBay using this technology. Many times you don't know whether an item is actually authentic or not when buying it. eBay has to actually hire experts that analyze the goods to decide if it is real or not. And there's also human error that is involved um, a lot of times with these middlemen. You have to just kind of trust their word. So Luxo could completely bypass all this with this physical and digital authentication system. So that's really powerful in my mind. Some further concepts and ideas from Luxo. We know that Luxo is aiming to have fashion design, gaming, and the general lifestyle entities building on top of their platform. We can envision an Instagram influencer issuing their own token to interact with their followers and audience. You can also picture an artist having their own universal profile where they can sell their NFTs directly to consumers. Luxo was a big player in the crypto fashion week. This happens annually and is one interesting concept that I believe all different types of brands will want to be a part of. Brands could have virtual runways and VR environments to show off their models wearing different clothing and different items. Luxo is creating an app just for this purpose, where one of the features is you can buy tokens from a brand and can try on their digital clothes. We saw this concept in the video earlier, as well as importing clothing into different open environments. Companies could issue a 3D NFT and implement that NFT into different video games, different virtual reality platforms, just by being on the Luxo blockchain. Luxo is also developing a wallet and marketplace to hold, buy, and sell NFTs that they are building and other entities are building on top of their platform. The possibilities are really endless here. It's up to the builders on top of the platform to see how creative they can get. This brings me to Fabian's update last month discussing mainnet launch, which is expected to happen in Q2 of 2021. So it's right around the corner. From what I've been reading, mainnet may be pushed back to the summer, but either way, I believe it's happening soon and Fabian will continue to provide status updates. In his last update, he noted something super underrated in my opinion. With Luxo being compatible, and almost being a clone of Ethereum while being 100% compatible with user-facing tools such as MetaMask, Fabian actually notes that by combining the execution environment catalyst and the beacon chain running Casper, Luxo will likely become the first ETH 2.0 blockchain to execute smart contracts even before Ethereum itself. This is so huge. There's a lot of potential that dApps could come over and provide a ton of traffic and utility to Luxo to test ETH 2.0 before it's even launched on Ethereum itself. The next element I want to touch upon is their ICO, which was really unique. They completed a reversible ICO, which essentially means you can buy Lux coins with the option to reverse them back to Ethereum over an eight month period. To me, this shows the company is very fair to their original investors and is extremely serious about their project. Fabian, as the creator of ERC20, is kind of indirectly responsible for the ICO madness in 2017 so this shows me he is really making a statement here that you can still do ICOs in a respectful and thoughtful manner, eliminating a lot of the potential fear from Luxo investors. Luxo was the first project to do this and it was very successful. During the RICO, 20% of the tokens were available for purchase and they raised $17.9 million. 
If we look at the price today, we can see that the Lux token price is currently trading at $25 as of March 12, 2021. It's 8x over the past month, which is just absolutely insane growth, outperforming almost all the top blue chip coins during that period. The main place to buy Luxel really right now is on KuCoin, so we can envision if a main exchange like Binance or Coinbase lists Lux down the line, this will be a big catalyst for growth. Along with the future mainnet launch, with Luxo being sharding ready and using the most decentralized algorithm as of today, Casper, they really have a great framework to scale and continue to grow. Another catalyst for growth could be any big time partnership announcements, which Fabian has alluded to a few times in his interviews, that there may be some on the horizon, but obviously hasn't disclosed any yet. Something to also note is the tokenomics of the Lux token. The market cap of 97 million is the current circulating supply multiplied by the current price. We can see that the fully diluted market cap, which is the max reported circulating supply multiplied by the current price, is much, much higher. This is definitely a component to keep in mind when making your own investment thesis that only 4% of supply is currently circulating. In conclusion, Luxo is attacking a specific niche of the fashion lifestyle NFT space, but I really could see them expanding even more. At the core of the mission, they are looking to be the next level of the blockchain. Unique protocols like enabling Web3 with universal profiles and the concept of a creative economy could really change the entire crypto space beyond just the fashion industry. We know Fabian is one of the most important figures in blockchain today. He really is always ahead of the curve, and now he is trying to make blockchain accessible through Luxo's user-friendly platform. If successful in the fashion space, we could envision the Luxo protocol is spreading beyond just a niche, digitizing the entire physical space and creating usable identities on the blockchain. If you're interested in learning more about these concepts, I really encourage you to look through Luxo's white paper. It's over 100 pages long. I'm not able to cover it in all one video, but it includes extremely innovative and interesting ideas to read about. If you enjoyed the video, we would greatly appreciate a like and subscribe. And remember to turn on those bell notifications for more videos on the best crypto projects in the future. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.